Hey, it's Kier. And hey, it's Tommy. And welcome to our April manga haul. Unfortunately for us, it's another big one. Unfortunately. <laughs> but um, next month will be a little different, hopefully, um, since we are participating in No Manga May with some of our friends. So we won't be purchasing any manga in the month of May at all. Right. Um, but we do have a mini series coming up that was pre-recorded um, before Mom, uh, No Manga May. So um, stay tuned for that. Yeah, the manga that we purchased in that miniseries won't be in this haul, though. Um, so that will be in next month's haul, even though it wasn't purchased in May. Right. Um, so we just wanted to clarify that. But, um, all right, let's get into it. Yeah, let's get into this haul. All right, so the first manga that I picked up this month was a lot of Boy to the Immortal in the singles. Um, I do have a couple volumes to show y'all here. So... I was looking for this, um, we were missing a couple volumes, like, I think 17 through 19, and then the higher up volumes for, um, just to complete our set. We had bought a lot of them back in the day, and, um, I posted on Reddit looking for these, and people were asking ridiculous prices for them. I think, like, 27 was, like, $150, and then 29 was, like... $220. $220, so we're, like, we are not paying that, because just, there's no way... So Tommy actually went on eBay and was able to find a this whole lot um, for sale for a hundred bucks, a, like around a hundred dollars. Um, so we were able to complete the series that had all the volumes that we were missing and then like some duplicates. So we're going to sell those. Um, but yeah, super, super excited to have this complete. Um, you know, we own Blade of the Immortal three times, three different ways. So definitely excited to finally have yeah. one of them complete so that I can read it. I'm going to read that. In this next coming month, I'm hoping. So, looking forward to that. Right. So, the next manga is one that I've been waiting to come in for some months. And that's Message to Adolf. Um, I've had Volume 2 for a very long time. Um, just honestly sitting on my shelf. Uh, and I haven't included it in a manga haul because I was waiting on Volume 1. And they were both in stock on Amazon at the same time. And one just happened to take two extra months to come in. So, I'm... Uh, I was kind of disappointed by that, but oops, sorry about that camera. I'm very disappointed by that, but we, um, they're both here now, so I'm happy for that. All right, so next up, I have just a couple singles volumes that I bought. Um, the first one is Seraphim, and I got this used when we went to um, Jacksonville to go shopping. And um, yeah, I have not read it yet, but you know, I always hear good things about this, so I'm excited for this one. Um, then I got Perfect World, Volume 5. In our last shop with me video and um love this series really really good jose series also door two i also got in our last shopping video and have not reading this yet but just picking it up as we go along and hearing really good things about it too hearing super good things about it so you know have high hopes some feet <laughs> and then <laughs> get this the right way and this is the l light novel from death note um this is volume or this novel this looks so cool but i love the art on it haven't read this one yet either because we just got it so excited for this one all right the next series is a series i'm super ready to check out because this series just seems so interesting and it looks extremely fun and this is cromarty high school um i managed to pick up volumes 1 through 12 which i'm super happy for and um this is about a high school full of delinquents i believe and i have to shout out my good friend kazzy she managed to pick up a good amount of these volumes for me, and I've managed to find the rest online. So that luckily, I have a complete set. And yeah, the aesthetics of this manga are just hilarious. You see the little robot. Uh, hold on. I gotta remember which volumes have the things that I want to show off. Because matter of fact, you should vote Honest and vote for Gorilla. This series just seems super insane, and just it's gonna be a fun read. I'm... Happy to check this out, and since I picked up 1 through 12, I managed to pick up the robot man himself, so, oh, I'm sorry, that's Mechazawa, so I'll, whenever I check this out, uh, I'll be sure to, I think, yeah, I'm definitely going to make a video on this whenever I check this out, so I'm super excited for this. So yeah, Cromarty High School, 1 through 12. Alright, so this next series actually got pointed out to us by the Prom G, um, he asked me to pick up some volumes of it for him. And that is Wounded Man. So this was at like our local comic shop that we like to shop at a lot. Um, the owner's super nice, so we like to go there. Yeah, he's cool. Um, 
we ended up sending prom the second half of the series five through nine and so we had one through four um we ended up finding the rest of it though so we picked up picked it up because the guy at our comic shop actually pointed out who was by so it's by kazuo kawiki which is the same mangaka that does lone wolf and cub path of the assassin and samurai executioner, samurai executioner. um and it's drawn by um ikigami which is the same mangaka that does sanctuary so we were super interested um once he pointed that out to us we were like oh yeah we gotta get this for ourselves so um we haven't read it yet or anything but super excited to have this but um after he told us about this he pointed out another series to us um which was crying freeman um which sounded super interesting so we ended up getting that too that's right um we got these in the dark horse versions and this is about an assassin who um when he kills his targets he ends up crying um which sounded really interesting to me um so i definitely wanted to check this out and we managed to pick up oops, sorry one through five of that in these dark horse versions and this is by the exact same duo that does wounded man um so yeah super excited about those the guy at the comic shop made it sound super super good right um and then as we were you know fell into a rabbit hole basically of um this artist that does sanctuary um we found another series which was um another one that prom had pointed out to us i had picked up volumes four and five for him um uh, when we first started our channel right. and that is strain um and we actually found those in the same lot as we found these crying Freeman singles so <laughs> Um, we found this whole lot right here um, for forty dollars right. on Mercari, which was crazy. Yeah, exactly. Um, so we ended up getting Crying Freeman twice on accident, but the thing was that we were able to get these four volumes of Strain um, as well. So we volume five is on the way. We just don't have it yet. Right. Um, but this one is also drawn by Ikigami, but it is written by Baronson. And so if you the same guy who did Fist of the North Star. Yeah, Fist of the North Star, which um, if you've heard us talk about it, we're super excited for that on this um channel here right so um yeah we kind of fell through it down a rabbit hole um and then we also got another series drawn by him as well just because and that is my the psychic girl which i found out was one of the first titles that they actually tried to popularize manga with over here which was crazy to me to find out when uh, i was doing research on this whole subject but i have these and uh looking yes. vol vol volume three is on the way it's somewhere i don't know but I was hoping to have it for this haul, but I guess it'll be in the next one. But, yeah, drawn by Ryuichi Ikigami and Kazuya Kudo. I don't know what else he does. I've never heard of him. Um, but super excited for this. So I'm going to check all these out this month. And, yeah. All right, the next manga that I picked up was one that I bought from my friend Kazi. Um, she was getting rid of it, and that is Kiss Me at the Stroke of Midnight. I got volumes one through five. Um, I believe this is a 12 volume series and I think the 12th volume comes out soon. Um, I could be wrong though. But um, this is by Rin Mikimoto who does one of um, the shoujo manga that I like a lot which is Kirakun Today. And um, so I definitely wanted to read this. It's supposed to be like a Cinderella story kind of but like I think the guy's like a pervert or something like <laughs> that. <laughs> um, but it's really good. I've read it, I read it already and um, I really like it so far so I will um, continue to get volumes of these until I have it complete all right so the next series i picked up um i have a lot of shaman and that is bastard <laughs> it's volumes two three let me see if you can guess why i have the shaman picking it up four <laughs> uh seven ten and fourteen now it's not because of the content of bastard it's just the format i picked it up in half of it i picked up in left to right the other half I picked up in right to left. Two different editions, two different versions. Um, I got to consolidate this at some point. Um, hopefully I can get the same ver matching versions of one of them at some point. We'll see. But I'm really interested in picking it up. But the next series I picked up, sorry about that, was Gogol 13, which is a classic series. But it's got to be good, right? You know? Yeah, I was going to say. Like one of the best selling manga of all time. Literally of all time. And um yeah i'm really excited to check it out but the early versions or i'm sorry the early volumes of this series are uh, a pain in the butt to find so hopefully i will find those soon so i can actually check that out 
this next series um, i was hoping that we would have it complete or like up to date by the time this haul happened but we didn't and that is real um so i have one two three nine and twelve um the rest are in the mail on the way we just haven't got them yet so we ordered them from in stock trades you know that that'll in -stock be take forever so um super excited to start this you know i always hear really really good things about it and you know volume 15 is supposed to be printed i think this year yeah at the end of this year at the end of this year so we figured this is like the perfect time to try to get you know caught up on the series um before the next volume comes out so hopefully this is as good as i hear it is um of course we haven't read any works of by takahiko in a way so um i don't know which one's gonna be the first one i actually think this is the no, I don't know if we're going to read this or Vagabond first, because we have both. I was thinking this is the first one we have complete, but it's not. Yeah, it definitely won't be Slam Dunk, because those are impossible to find right now. Yeah, we um we want to get Slam Dunk this year, but um yeah, they're just out of stock everywhere, I think. So still, so yep, super excited for this and can't wait to read it. All right, so the next series I picked up was Shaman King, and I picked up volumes 8 through 26 while missing a bunch. But this was due to... uh. My friend Kazzy, she picked up all the volumes that I told her I was missing um, through this lot. And yeah, she helped me a lot because these volumes are really hard to find now and are really expensive. And yeah. Um, back in the day, um, <laughs> when we first got on Reddit and everything, um, these Shaman King used to be super cheap. So we had one through seven um, that Tommy bought for $15, yep. believe it or not. And um, so we just had that one through seven for like a long time. Last month, we were able to pick up a couple more volumes um, from one of our friends was able to get it for us. And so then now this. So we've been able to get a lot of volumes. And uh, yeah, we now have one through 26. Um, one through 26. Luckily, we haven't had to spend over retail for anything yet. So right. that's always good. <laughs> exactly. And um, I'm going to try to find the last six volumes in the singles. If I can't, uh, the Omnibus do exist. We'll see what happens. <laughs> All right, so the next series that I picked up was Mar, and this um, was something that I really wanted to get. I've heard that it's really good, but um, I never read it or anything like that. Um, this is by Nobuyuki Anzai, which I probably said that wrong, but this is the same mangaka that does Flame of Rekka. And um, if you watched our last month's haul, you would know that I picked up all of Flame of Rekka last month. Um, that's a series that I really do like. So, um, this was just naturally another series that I really wanted to get. Mm -hmm. And I found a really good deal for the lot. And so I had to pick it up. So I was able to get one through 15. Let me show the other volumes. So here is the rest of them right here. And yeah, super happy to have this and excited to finally get to read this one. All right. So the next series I picked up was Aho Girl volumes four through 12. And this is one of my favorite comedy series. Um, I showed Kirit a long time ago, and she really enjoyed it as well. So we really wanted to get the manga. The anime is so funny. Oh my gosh. Like, <laughs> it's hilarious. And it's only like, what, like 13 minute episodes? Or yeah, they're like that. super short and really, really enjoyable. And uh, yeah, it was really, really fun to watch um, when it was coming out. And I thought, why not just pick up the manga before it, uh, I don't know, disappears and I won't be able to get it ever again. And uh, we happened to get these on the Right Stuff sale. They were doing like a sale on comedy series. Right, exactly. So super excited to, to get those. All right, the next series that I was lucky to get from my friend Kazzy again um, is Inuyasha. So she was able to get me volume 32, volume 41. And the thing I'm always saying is why is this series so long? <laughs> like Volume 43. This series is very long, so for really no reason. But um, these later volumes are pretty expensive, so I'm really lucky that I've been able to either find these in the store or have friends find them for me. Um, I almost have the series complete at this point, but just missing these upper volumes that are really expensive for really no reason. So super thankful that she was able to find these for me. And yeah, that much closer. All right, so the next series I picked up was Gantz, volumes 21 and 33. And these two volumes finally, fine A. Lee, complete my set of Gantz. <laughs> um, it was a pretty long hunt for these, and I'm super happy to have these done. Um, thankfully, I can show the backs of these. Um, 
But yeah, I'm super happy to have this complete. That's definitely one of my favorite series of all time. Um, the next series I also picked up was Devilman vs. Hades. Um, this was a short, or this is a short read, and I'm excited to check this out. I already have a uh, Devilman G or Grimoire, so I'm gonna check this out real soon. These covers are super cool, and Devilman is definitely one of my um, definitely one of my favorite series. It's um, I might say it's top ten or anything, but it's really it was really good when we uh, checked it out in the past, and anything Devilman related, I'm willing to check out. Hopefully, they print Violence Jack. I doubt it, but we'll see. But yeah. Next series was a Jake the Pog recommendation, and also the Manga Slot um, was talking about this series, and that's It's a War of Beto. I was able to pick up one through seven on Reddit. Yeah, on Reddit. I was trying to remember where I bought them at on Reddit. So we bought like some upper volumes of this last month, and um, finally we're able to get the beginning volume. So now we can start it and read it. Um, Tommy was interested in this because it has a Tanuki, <laughs> um, which he loves. You know that. So. Um, anything with the tanuki he will buy so i'm um, super excited for this hearing it's good so hopefully um it doesn't disappoint and we'll let you know what we think for real all right so the next series i picked up was ajin demi human and we actually already had a few volumes of this one through six one through six but we managed to pick up one through 13 oops i gotta stop doing that on let go or offer up i'm sorry forgot they combined um for excuse me three dollars a volume for a grand total of forty dollars so i said why not that's uh the same price as three volumes so i really should pick up the whole series and i'm excited to have most of it now i just got to pick up the rest of them and we will have this series complete and i know it ends actually this year right yeah i think the last volume comes out this year yeah i'm just happy to have these upper volumes because you know those bright pastel colors are just beautiful to look at and yeah we will uh have this complete real soon all right so this next one was also a crazy buy that we were able to find and that is lone wolf and cub lone wolf and cub and so this is volumes 5 9 10 11 12 13 27 and 28 and we found these at a comic book store when we went up to jacksonville and oh my gosh like yeah what a find this completes our set though right yeah so this completes our set uh we were able to get these for retail so ten dollars a volume and especially this one right here is the expensive <laughs> volume so super super happy that we were able to find that find that so this completes our lone wolf and cub and so now we are on the hunt for the other series by this mangaka as well um as y'all know we already picked up some of or we already picked up wounded man today which right. was by him so um really excited to read this even though um it is a little intimidating <laughs> but yeah super excited to have that one done so keeping with that theme of that mangaka we actually managed to pick up path of the assassin volumes one four keep them close uh that's five that is volume six that's volume eight oops and that is volume 13. Ooh, that plastic kind of, I don't know what happened there. And this is volume 14. And these were actually given to us by our friend Kazzy. She helped us out, pick these, or helped us get these. And we're super happy for that. <laughs> Are you noticing a trend with this manga collection? <laughs> or this manga haul this month? <laughs> yeah, shout out to Kazzy. Yeah, she helped us out a lot this month. So shout out to her. Yeah, and uh, yeah, we'll continue to pick up some uh, Path of the Assassin, Samurai Executioner. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll have those complete in the near future. So the next thing I picked up is I Hear the Sunspot. I had the first volume um, on the way, but it's like delayed. I read it at the library actually, which is kind of funny, but um, I really liked it. So I picked up the, these are, this is like the, the sequel. And then this was like a three series, three volume series is like the third part, I guess. But um, I hear it has mixed reviews and um, I can see why. I'll talk about more, this more in our um, my reading log or our reading log, I guess. You could say, because um, I did read all five volumes, and I know there's more volumes actually scheduled to come out, but I don't know when. But um, yeah, um, if you want to hear my thoughts about this, I guess just Too check out our reading log. It's going to be posted soon after this video. All right, so next series I picked up, also I heard has mixed reviews, but that's Old Boy, volume four, five, 
six, seven. Last but not least, volume eight. Um, we found these at a local comic book shop, and I thought, why not pick these up? Because I know these can get pretty expensive if you're not getting them for retail. So now I just need the first three volumes, which can be pretty tricky to find, but I'll see what happens. But um, I'm excited to check this out. Um, I'm probably going to read the manga first and watch the movie, and I guess I'll see which one I like better from there. Next series I picked up is Imadoki. This is like a five volume sh old shoujo. Um, I don't know how good it is, but um, you know, it was cheap and it was only five volumes. So I like this because I can read it in probably like an hour and a half. So whenever I'm bored, I'll get around to reading this one. So hopefully it's not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah she's a merchant so you know i always like to read shoujos like especially like i don't really care if they're good or not like i'll just read them and then you know if i don't like it i'll just get rid of it so um like i said it was cheap so i bought it and um five volumes complete so why not you know all right so the next series um we actually had the second half of and we we're gonna sell because we couldn't find the earlier volumes but i decided to start searching and i managed to find volumes one two three four, five, ten, and eleven of Drip or Drown, I mean, uh, Reborn. <laughs> so that makes us, or so that gets us volumes one through thirteen of Reborn in our collection. I like the spines a lot. Yeah, the spines and the covers are really nice. I won't lie, they, uh, we talked about the drip in this series, and from these covers, I do have to agree. They, uh, these characters are very stylish. Well, I mean, I don't know. Why? <laughs> I don't know why you held that volume. I'm sorry about that. These characters are very stylish, and uh, yeah, I'm excited to check this out. Next up, I got Tomo Chan is a girl, volumes one through eight. This is complete. I've been wanting this series for a long time, but Seven Seas volumes are just expensive to me. Like, yeah. how much are they? Thirteen dollars, and look how small they are. So I kept putting it off and putting it off. I'm telling you, until Kira I was found... just like, "Yo, if you ever see Tomochan as a girl for sale, pick it up for me, especially if it's cheap." I'm like, "All right, all right." And then like, I just keep forgetting. I'm like, "What's that series called again?" And then eventually, it really like popped up, and I was like, "Yo, did you want this?" She was like, "Yes." And I'm like, "Okay, lucky you." Yeah, able to get it super cheap on Reddit, um, which I'm very thankful for because yeah, like I said, I've been wanting it for a long time and just taking forever to find it for cheap so um i just i hate spending money sometimes um this is a four coma so i'll just show you like what the inside looks like um but it's like a comedy like a rom-com and um, i really liked it i read it a long time ago and um i really liked it so i wanted to get it and super happy to finally have it all right so the next series i picked up was lament of the lamb volumes one through five and I'm super excited to read this series because, yeah, I know this looks like uh, there might be some stuff on there, but no, that's, that's the volume. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited to pick this up. Me and my friend were checking out the premise and it seemed really interesting. Um, she said it involves some vampires, a sick family. We'll see what happens. <laughs> kind of giving like happiness vibes, but not exactly. Right. So. Yeah, um, it's a cheap series, not super rare or anything like that, but... Well, you know, the way things are going, it's probably going to end up rare because people like to scout. So, uh, but yeah, I'm definitely interested to check this out. Lament of the Lamb. We just need to get, what, volume six and seven? Yeah, and I will and have this can, complete. Then we can check it out. Yeah, one of those Toku Pop series that they just happen to print. But yeah, I'll check this out in probably May. All right, next up, I have a couple of single volumes that we picked up. Uh, these were also from Kazzy. So the first one is Wolfsman volume six. Um, I don't know if this is out of print or just out of stock or whatever, but this has been like hard to find. This one in volume one. So she was able to find this one for me at her local store, which I was very thankful for. Then we got New Lone Wolf and Cub volume two. Um, so now we only need volume one and then we'll have this complete. Once again, this is by the same um, author of, you know, Lone Wolf and Cub, Path the Assassin, all those other stuff that we bought this month. So super happy to have that. And then also Ultima volume four. So... I'm um, thankful to have this, just kind of piecing this together a little bit at a time as I find it. All right, so uh, the next three series I picked up is from our Clamp Binge, and that's Angelic Layer Volume 4, Angelic Layer Volume 5, Tokyo Babylon. 
<laughs> well, you won. Uh, yeah, this was actually in like new condition, but I guess the way the guy shipped it, I don't know if you can see. It got it. like yeah, there's punctured holes in them. So R.I.P. to that. Got to find a new one of that. But uh, volumes two. Oops, sorry. Three, four, five, six, and seven of Tokyo Babylon. I actually want to show the spines because I really like it. Let me see. Oh yeah, go ahead. I'll show you all the spines because the spines look really cool in my opinion. They're really nice. I guess. Yeah, they're really nice. They're pretty nice, huh? I always like um, different color spines like this. I think they just stand out. Yeah, we actually saw the omnibus of that, but I do. I like the singles just from a variety standpoint. Standpoint, sorry. <laughs> uh, then we found XXX Holic or Holic, however you like to pronounce that. Uh, volumes two, four, five, six. These covers are super nice. Seven, eight, nine, and numero ten. Yeah, these covers are super nice. Clamp snapped on this one. Uh, we'll show you the spines of those two. Angelic layer is not going to get love because I'm not showing those spines. Holic, <laughs> super nice. But yeah, happy to have most of that. And hopefully I'll have that complete in the near future. But yeah, we're uh, getting in on a lot of clamp series. And uh, we should have a good chunk of them by now. Yeah, I would think so. <laughs> so I got some more singles here that I picked up this month. The first one is GTO The Early Years Volume 2. And I've been trying to piece this together, um, but I'm being a little picky about the volumes because I really want ones that don't have creases in the spines. <laughs> um, which, if you've seen these volumes, like I guess they crease pretty easily because most of them are like beat. beat. So I'm being like a little bit pickier, even though usually we're not too picky since we keep all of our manga. We don't like resell or anything. Um, but I just, I really like GTO. I really want like to have good copies of it or whatever. So this is the first one I was able to pick up on Reddit. Then I got Scary Book by Kazuo Mez, which is the same mangaka that does Drifting Classroom. Um, I really, there's like a three, I guess it's like a three book series and this is the first book. I would really like to get the other two books, but this whole series is pretty rare. So um, it just depends on if we're able to find, to find them. Um, then I got Tagami Bachi Volume 1. I really want to get this complete, but you know, it's not going to be next month or anything like that um, since we're not buying manga. But this is a really good underrated series for sure and then i got sasaki and miyano volume two this is like a bl super wholesome super cute like rom-com kind of thing um love 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 this series all right so the next three series i picked up were turn scientific accelerator volumes four volume nine adam cat um you know i pick up honestly almost everything osamu tezuka <laughs> And this looked pretty cute, so I did pick that up. I uh, found that on Reddit. Uh, I picked up the Resident Evil manga. Uh, this one is, I'm not going to say it's hard to find. or it just It's just really expensive, but I um I did find this for a good price, so I'm happy to pick it up. Um, I only have a couple volumes of this, and they not, aren't consecutive, so I won't start this anytime soon. But if I do manage to find the rest of these, I will be starting this one. A couple more singles that I was able to pick up this month right here. Um, I'll start with this series right here, Waiting for Spring. This was the last volume, volume 14, that just came out. Um, super, super good series if you like shoujo. Um, this is about a girl and then like some guys on the basketball team that she makes friends with. And just super, super cute, super wholesome. Love it so much. Next series I'm hyped about. Y'all know this. <laughs> Chainsaw this, Man, volume this 4. This goat cover. Oh my gosh. I love Aki so much. So. Yeah, Aki is a super cool character. Um, volume 4. So, you know, we definitely pick these up every time they come out, even though we both already read the series. Yeah. Um, shout out to Jump App. Yeah, shout out to the Shonen Jump App. But this series is so freaking good. Can't wait for the anime. <laughs> yeah, for real. Jujutsu Kaisen Volume 9. So, you know, we pick this up when it comes out also. Um, I got Those Not So Sweet Boys Volume 1. Um, another... Shoujo. I actually really like it so far, so um, I'll be... I already pre-ordered the second volume, so if that means anything. And then <laughs> <laughs> some mid right here. Mint Chocolate Volume 2. Um, once again, I do not recommend this in any way whatsoever, but I am reading it. Which I, I was going to say, I'll keep seeing her pick it up, right? Yeah. Um, this definitely gives me like Domestic Girlfriend vibes, which is another series that wasted a lot of my time <laughs> um, and was not good, but... Um, yeah, I am continuing to pick this up just because, but, um, it is pretty cringe. 
All right, so the next two series I picked up were Spy Family, Volume 4, with the chunk on the cover. He's a very <laughs> cute boy. He's um, a good boy. <laughs> definitely excited for that one. And Tuxedo Game, Volume 14. As I talked about in our shop with me, I'm going to pick this up very slowly. But, you know, penguins are very cute. And I think this is a romance, so... It says action on it, though, so I don't know. Oh. Yeah, that's a plot twist. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we'll see then. Um, definitely, definitely excited to check this out then. Yeah, we'll see then. All right, last thing for me, um, some more like singles basically, and that's these right here. I got Air Gear Volume One. Um, I used to think only like that one volume, like what twenty eight, was expensive, but lately, like it seems like all yeah, the other volumes are expensive now out of nowhere. But I got this one for five dollars, so. Um, I am trying to get the old great series, so I want to get this, the Tenjo Tenge, and, um, so yeah. She's looking for that full contact edition. <laughs> yeah, we actually bought the other edition, but, um, I'm not keeping it, so. The, uh, the singles. That's what she thinks, but. Um, Fruits Basket, um, volume 15. Um, as I said in our shop with me, I picked up, like, some volumes of this for, like, super, super cheap back in the day when, like, everybody was selling this for really cheap on Reddit. And um, Reddit, let go anywhere, honestly. Yeah, it used to be everywhere. Like everybody, per, everybody was selling fruit basket for like hundred dollars complete. I just bought like the first eight bonds for like twenty bucks, <laughs> and now I'm like, wow, I wish I would have bought more. But um, volume six and seven of an incurable case of love, which is by Maki and Joji, which is like um, I guess like one of the more popular Jose mangakas. But um, this was a seven volume series, so I bought it so I could finish reading it. Um, you'll hear my thoughts about it on the reading log. So, um, yeah, that's about all I have to say. That's it for me. All right. So since you guys know me, you guys know I can't read. So I just like to look at these picture books. So I managed <laughs> to pick up three of them this month. So the first one I picked up was the Tokyo Ghoul Re illustrations. And let me see if I can flip through a few of these. These are super nice. Ishida Sui has some of the nicest art in a weekly manga that I've ever seen. I guess we'll tilt that down. Next thing we picked up was the complete works of Gosho Aoyama. You guys know us. We love Detective Conan and anything Gosho Aoyama. Oh, sorry. Aoyama does. You know, Conan's a very drippy individual. So, <laughs> um, yeah, it's basically the start from the start of Detective Conan up to 2015. They do these books um, every few years, it seems like, just to get more some more of his illustrations in there. And so I managed to pick up the 2015 one. And then this one, I picked up a cardboard box of <laughs> some bastard illustrations. Um, I'm not going to open that because I don't, if I don't you know. See, if you see right here. Yeah, I don't <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to see in there. <laughs> we actually haven't opened it yet, so I don't know, even know where he got this at. Yeah, I found it uh, for very cheap. Um, and this, there's some more illustrations. Super cool. And yeah, I was very excited to check that out. Or I'm sorry, to pick that up. Um, I guess I'll show you guys the cardboard one more time. But yeah, that's it for this manga haul. Yeah, that's it for our April manga haul. Uh, thank you so much for watching. We um <laughs> we got through a lot of it. I'm I'm glad we uh I'm glad it's over now because that was <laughs> <laughs> we were not looking forward to filming this, <laughs> but um we got it. So um as y'all know, or as we said earlier, um next month is gonna be a little different. But, um, yeah. yeah, I don't really know what to say. Yeah, thank you so much for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. See y'all.